Hey guys, Jengar here. We have an open dev server for the next patch, Raining Fire, and there's a, a good amount, well, not too many, but there is some new planes in there, and it's not all jets, which is fantastic. What are we looking at? Most anticipated, the Razorback Thunderbolt. They're finally in. We have two of them in game right now, one in the US line, sitting where is it right here and it looks fantastic looks absolutely fantastic you have uh, well quite good armor for the front protecting the pilot but for the rest not much on armor protection the fuel tanks are nicely situated underneath the pilot you have the guns in the wings and you have your huge as engine of course in front still it's a Thunderbolt, but it is one we have expected for very long, so I'm definitely looking forward to this plane. You do have ground pounding options as well. It's looking quite good with uh, two 1000 pound bombs and HVIR rockets. Uh, quite nice load. I wouldn't use it for that, but um, still, this is one of the planes that I uh, definitely want to fly out early on in the patch. The Razorbacks is something we have been looking forward to since the start of the game for years and years and years, almost seven years I guess, that we're looking forward to this one. And it's finally here. <laughs> this is not the end for the American line for new planes. We have this fitting in the tree now as well. A uh, new P-38, the IP-38 with a 37 millimeter M4 cannon, two 50 cals and two uh, smaller caliber Browning machine guns, which is uh, quite nasty firepower, I would assume. This uh, silver skin is also quite sexy, gotta say. The armor protection for the pilot is uh, very nice. Protection in the front, protection in the back. Very good protection for the pilot, which is always nice. X-ray. Well, you've got all the guns situated right here. And uh, not everything says that it's uh, it's rounds here. <laughs> but that's okay, I guess. It says over here 200 rounds for the 50 cals, 500 rounds for the small calibers, and 15 rounds for the 37 millimeter. That's not a lot of rounds, by the way. 3.0 battle rating on this plane. 4.3 on the Razorback. But uh, two fantastic planes. Let's see what modifications do we have on this plane. Nothing. No um, bombs or anything. Just a regular fighter setup for this plane. Looks very nice though. Gotta say. I'll be flying this out as well. <laughs> There's prop planes. New prop planes in the game. Bloody hell. Can barely contain my enthusiasm. This is fantastic. And two of my favorite lines as well. P-38s. Lovely gotta be one of the most sexy designs in world war ii and the good old thunderbolts and the razorbacks well good it is finally in the game it's not better but <laughs> we wanted it for so long because it's so historic it should have been in the game five years ago anyway we move to the germans the germans get an il-28 hallelujah uh, i've not even uh, upgraded this thing yet we have uh, an il-2 multiple il-28s uh, in game uh, armor protection, fine. A lot of fuel in the in the fuselage, and uh, what is most important is the bomb loads, which are quite similar to the Russian ones. So this is more or less a copy paste, uh, I would assume. Um, yeah, it's an IL-28, quite um, lackluster for the Germans in this patch, I would say. Well, so far, so far. Who knows what might be added? Uh, you know. After this, where does it sit in the tree, you would ask? Well, it sits right here underneath the Arados. 8.0 battle rating. And that's it for the Germans. For now, at least. We move on to the USSR. It has the uh, C, or the Psi 6. Never heard of this plane. I'm not familiar with this plane. I guess it's a little bit less iconic than the IL-2s, but it is a uh, more or less a ground attacker. And uh, 4.7 battle rating, which is quite good. Sitting uh, 
where did I put it again? Right here. Rank 4. 4.7 battle rating. Not too bad. It has uh, 23 millimeter cannons with 115 rounds. It has rockets. It has bombs. Armor protection for the pilot is quite amazing. It really has a box. <laughs> pilot has a box to protect uh, him or herself. Fantastic. Fuel tank underneath. Guns in the wings. 150 rounds per gun. 750 for the uh, SWAC machine guns. Uh, it's not SWAC actually. It's CAS machine guns. 750 rounds per gun. Quite good armament on the guns, offensive guns. And you have a little bit of um, of bombs and rocket options, quite a few, but nothing spectacular. Although these are 100 kilogram bombs, four of them. Well, you know, you have a lot more rockets. So I guess you go for the ro for a rocket setup, but uh, with some bombs in combination. Looks quite uh, cute, I would say, cute and cuddly. <laughs> you also have another attacker on the jet side of things. Coming here, right here, after the SU-7B, the SU-7B KL, getting a 10.0 battle rating. And, uh, well, I've not flown out the 7B yet as it stands, so um, looks quite similar. But um, quite a little bit of protection for the pilot. X-ray, well, fuels in the wing tape, the engine here. And you have quite a lot of uh, ground attacking options on this thing. Looks quite scary. A lot of rockets. Let's check what else kind of options you have. Different kind of rockets. Different kinds of bombs. So you do have some options to uh, go for the ground pounding. I guess you can also use it as a fighter. We do have a... Yeah, we do have a without load. So you can use it as a fighter but um, well something for everybody I say moving on to Great Britain with a Thunderbolt as well a premium Thunderbolt a Razorback in the British line same protection also sitting at 4.3 battle rating exactly the same setup as expected and we do also have some ground attacking options with rockets and bombs and combination with those. And um, this is something I definitely would want to have. The British, a quite nice addition to the British uh, setup. It's right here, rank 3. And um, a really dedicated boom and zoomer is something nice to have. Awesome. Another one. Nice skin. Does it have more skins actually? Not right now, but I'm sure it will have soon. We shall see. <laughs> Razorbacks. Woohoo! Yeah. Oh, Japan doesn't have anything new for air forces, unfortunately. China does have something new. Um, the Q5 early, but um, I believe this is a redesign of a Russian plane <coughs> not exactly sure I haven't really looked much into these um, I haven't been far haven't gone far yet in the Chinese line either man uh, only in rank 3 but um, it sits right here in the ground pounding line uh, as the uh, final and highest plane at 10.0 battle rating after the F 84 G so we have that and uh, it does have some options, but not, not too spectacular. It um, seems to have some nice, nice speeds, but for a 10.0 battle rating, I don't know. Good climb rate on it, though, as it looks like. It has some, uh, some cannons. Uh, this is not the correct designation, but uh, 23 millimeter, it looks like. Maybe we can see that in the X-ray. Well, not really, but 120 rounds per gun. I think it's 23 millimeter guns, obviously. Uh, armor protection for the pilot is good. Nice for ground pounding. And, um, yeah, 
Let's look at the modifications. Doesn't have a lot of variation here, does it? Uh, this looks like it has more than <laughs> when you look at the plane as well, by the way. But I guess you take a combination with bombs then. If I thought I thought this was be uh, this would be maybe this will be better then. Ah yes, we have some bombs now as well. I think this is the best setup then, with some uh, 500 kilogram bombs and some um, some heat rockets. Oh yeah. And you have your guns, of course. Not sure if this will be competitive, but uh, we shall see. At least China has something new, right? The Italians have nothing new, unfortunately. So we move on to the French, who have nothing new either. That is very unfortunate for them as well. We go to Sweden, and Sweden has one new plane. And where does it sit? It sits right here in rank 1, before the B-17B, is the B-17B float, or S. <laughs> oh, nice. Well, I like my B-17Bs, the early ones. So this is nice. This one has uh, two guns as well. Right there and right there. You have uh, 50 kilogram bombs, nine of them, which is also uh, nice. You have the turret. You have everything. I think... Let's have a look. It's a little bit less fast, of course. You will have more drag. You have a little bit better turn time. Mm, okay. Apparently, yeah. To the according to the stat cards, which should never be trusted. <laughs> you gotta find it out by yourself in test flights. Um, but okay, another B17. I love this plane, the B17B, and with floats, why not? More float planes. You gotta love it. It'd be fun to fly this thing out for the Swedish. And for the rest, this is the only new plane for the Swedes. So that is it. One Swedish new plane, one Chinese new plane with uh, the Q5. A uh, Razorback for the Brits makes it uh, four, three new planes, actually. Two new Russian planes makes it uh, five. A German IL-28 copy makes it six. And the... Americans have a Razorback and a P-38 makes it um, 8. Did I say that correctly? I think so. 8. 8 new planes. That's not a lot, is it? But um, I love it and I also love that it is not only jets. It is props in there. It is a nice mix and I'm looking forward to flying out these planes. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this little sneak peek. I want to thank you all for watching and I will see you guys next time. Bye bye. If you're new here, make sure to hit the subscribe button, become part of this community. If you are already a subscriber, don't forget to like the video, do leave me a comment and if you really feel like helping out today, make sure to share the video with your friends and let them know about the channel.